How about we make our own Arco Linux D GNOME ISO? That's the topic of today. So build your own ISO. That's uh, the topic that is well occupying our time and energy at beginning April of 2018. We want you to give the ultimate power. So we have Arco Linux, Arco Linux D, and we're gonna make our own ISO. I've just opened up a browser and you Google or if you know where it is, you go to the GitHub ArcoLinuxD. So github.com ArcoLinuxD and you go to, um, to figure out hey how do we actually make GNOME. So that's in here Arco GNOME it's actually told here, but all the rest of course is also important, but it's told here. Install GNOME, install GNOME Extra, and that's it. Maybe if you want, don't want um, uh, LightDM, you can go for GDM, but in this case you see that it's still LightDM, and this is hashtagged out. So I'm gonna keep LightDM in the future. Now, we know we have to add these lines to the packages that both. That's that's the bottom line. That's what why I'm showing you this. Now, but first off, we need to get our ISO. So there's the Arco Linux ISO, two gigabytes big, well, eight megabytes. But when you build everything, it's gonna be two gigabytes. And Arco Linux D ISO. So we need this one. It's gonna be easier because. The packages both is not hashtagged out, well, it's all hashtagged out, so we'll just add whatever we want. So we get the URL, that's it, and then we go to our home directory, we make a folder called Arco Linux, and inside you have the Arco Linux D ISO. So we're gonna git clone it from the net, control shift V. -E. And then you have this Arco Linux D ISO, the latest version of it. Probably change in the future, so it may differ from the video. Okay, so I told you we have to go to packages.both. Mm -hmm. All the way down, doesn't matter where you put it of course, but let's keep the same logic in all the videos. Gnome and Gnome Extra. Okay, control S. Gnome, Gnome Extra. Did I invent it? No, that's those two guys. Okay, and then we need to tell them, okay, light DM, control find light DM. We want everything concerning light DM, just give them to, to us like so. And now we have to make sure that the Calamares installer is going to keep LightDM. So we go to etc, Calamares, Modulus, Packages, and inside here it says kill LightDM, try to remove. So yeah, remove. XFC can go as well. And let's now make it a little bit more nicer. Delete, delete, and delete. Save. Do we need XFC tuner, Eric? We're going for GNOME. GNOME is Nautilus and XFC, no, so we don't need this. This can go, so try to remove. Um, it's, I suppose, not even installed, let's have a look. Did we install it? Because we have packages inside Arco Linux in the GitHub all the way down. We have to decide what elements to take. So indeed, Arco Linux XFC Tuner is set. Keep it there, keep it there, because it's needed for the ISO. So you boot up into an XFC kind of environment with all the settings and we'll need some of the settings to have it a nice uh, look. We can do it, try it without, you'll see that the look is completely different then. But we're gonna keep it in here. ISO will have, the live DVD will have a XFC-like environment. Uh, let's come to find XFCE. Oh, that's not XFCE. That's one, but there are others. There are this one as well, XFCE4. And that's why it's in here to 
in here to say that we need to get rid of XFCE again. So yeah, we do need to get rid of XFCE, Eric. So get rid of XFC tuner git and get rid of XFC4 because we're gonna have Nautilus. All right, good, fine. I did save this, control S, just being safe here. So this is gone, mousepad, yeah, let's uh, kill that one as well. So I'm not installing it, so I don't have deleted afterwards. And all the rest is hashtagged out. So it's up to you to decide what elements you want or not. But that's the second exercise, second, second ISO build. I would first try out to build the ISO up, you know. So first try to get into a GNOME version and then see what things we can add and see where we get stuck. So GNOME and Arc themes would work. Awesome, uh, no. Common, no config, no conky, no docs, no i3, no faces, no genie. Yeah, why not? Local, not sure. <laughs> Can be not sure as well. Neofitch, uh, yes. Nitrogen, yes. Obligard, no. Mobile menu, no. No, no, no. Plank, yes. Why not? Plank themes. Polybar, no. Rofi, in Gnome, I don't think so, but hey, it's possible. And then root, yes. Slimlock themes, no. Termite themes, yes. Tin2, no, no. And variety, yes. Wallpapers, yes. So that's the selection I would make in the Arco Linux. But like I said, I'm first gonna try if this already works and then we can complicate things. So, can we install GNOME? That's our question. We go to installation script, scripts, right mouse click and we say build me number 30 go you know the drill three times yes and be on arco linux obviously and then we pause and we wait for the video well the iso to build Okay, <coughs> it's finished. We can continue. Super. F7, one point figure, four gigabyte is what it says here. So, and Eric, Arcanix D in your home folder and Arch ISO out. There is this 1.4 gigabyte. It's the 8th of April and it's 8 a.m. So, that's correct. That's the one. Control F, booting. Now, we should finds us a light DM welcoming screen. And we have to tell them we're a live user. Login. Okay, we have already GNOME. That's a surprise to me. I thought we'd have uh, XFC, so that's nice. Um, I bet we have, if we log back out, I bet we have XFC as well. So the question is, do we need the line XFC? Maybe not, maybe you just can get rid of it. So these things happen and then you figure it out. So yeah, that's good because GNOME finds the auto start. So the .config auto start folder in here, we have this line that says boot it up. Give me Cal Amaris straight when I boot so I can get things done. So race and uh, next and then. Okay. So our question is, do we need XFCE? So that's something we can try out in the next build. And that's how you build up and try out and make ISOs as with lots and lots of patience. And changing one thing, maybe dare to change two things, build an ISO and see what happens. Pausing the video here. 
almost done. And now I hope XFC is uninstalled, of course. We'll see why not, because we have no tune or anything to conflict it with. No dependency. We'll see. And... Action. Hmm. Not even light DM that shows up. That's a bit strange. We did not say to auto login. So XFC is gone. There are this is a strange one, two gnomes. Gnome classic, okay. And this is light DM. For some reason it's auto login for us. But hey, we have a GNOME installation. We did not add any LightDM. We didn't add any uh, uh, applications or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did not install wallpapers. And we're installing them now. Okay, uh, can we quickly change wallpapers here as well? Those are all ugly ones. And we cannot change them like one, two, three. Pictures, we can add images to the pictures folders. Folder is empty. And colors, then I'd rather take a color. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, logging out. Indeed, that's the wallpaper. And there you go. So we have now a GNOME version, Article Linux D GNOME. Question is, can we skip GNOME, right? So we're gonna stop this thing we're happy already with the result that's fine oh yeah cancel still wondering control f i was still wondering why in the heck does that thing think it should auto boot i have nothing no other applications text edit array Normally at the bed here. Ah, oh yeah, auto login, Eric. Cha cha. Okay, that's coming from. Is it? Let's shut up. So, power off. Where is this coming from? It's not coming from. It's actually coming from Calamares, Eric. It's coming from Calamares. It's not coming from you, from the ETC. It's not coming from here anywhere. No light DM. It's actually coming from the modules where you say that the users log in. You know the the tick you put there, auto login. GNOME picks that up. That's it. Okay. So the XFCE <coughs> packages both. Can we get rid of XFC? XFCE. So this one, we do not seem to need that one anymore, any longer. This also means if it's not in here, then we can get rid of it 
in Calanares. In the modules, in the packages, we don't need this one either. Error, nor this one. So that's cutting down on our packages. And let's try it again. So guys, that's how you do it. It's really a lot of patience and a lot of CPU power. Changing one thing, testing it again. Adding applications is not the thing. It's not the difficulty. Uh, adding Firefox, Google Chrome, etc. It's not the difficulty. It's all the rest that's surrounding it. Hard drivers, um, the hardware drivers, I mean, uh, anything network related or something like that. That's, that's the tough part. Okay, pausing again. Okay, we're done. Super F7 started. It was already pointing to the correct ISO. That's why I could just start it now. So this time around, we do expect to have GNOME. XFC is gone. Anything XFC related is not there. So live user. Log me in, please. Let's light the M for you. That's our nice wallpaper. And there we go. So let's install it. Maybe we should, should check out live user logout. But of course, there can't be any XFC, but okay. Since this is an educational video, there is no XFCE. And then we just install. And it's this stick here, login automatically without asking for a password. Calamari says, okay. Let's put LightDM in uh, auto login Eric. And then that's what happened. In the other video okay pausing and we've almost installed it restart done let's have a look what did we create so auto login should work again a nice wallpaper and then we get our GNOME. So we have installed GNOME. From now on, it's gonna be fun. I meaning, uh, what software do you want? You can actually keep this ISO and say, okay, this is actually a good way to have a basic installation with no software. Uh, the software you get is the snuff software from GNOME and GNOME Extra. So there might be things in there that you say, oh my God, I wanna get rid of that. So yeah, pseudo pacman minus R is uh, necessary then. But um, all is all, okay, all is selected. So yeah, chess and all that, calendar. We have here the tweaks, which is a good thing. So that's the, the way to change elements in GNOME. We have a tweak GNOME tool, that's the official name. And then you say Arc Dark, for instance, already available. Breeze Snow is already available due to our packages both that we've created the Sardi is available so we can easily show you something that's well nicer oh yeah we installed the Arc sorry the Arco Linux um, backgrounds have not been installed so we'll have to deal with flower bed I don't know what color that is okay that's better than what it was and so on and so on so yeah you have already a possibility and this is maybe a good uh, screenshot for the tutorial on Arco Linux D. I'm gonna put this one on there. All right. So what I would do now is uh, packages both, check it out and say, okay, I want Firefox, I want Atom, I want Sublime Text and so on. Or you just go from the assumption that this is okay and then work with the scripts and uh, let those run. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> 